Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Eternal Flames. This is Blaze speaking. So, if you guys notice, we got ourselves some new weapons, just like our new tracks. And oh, are they beautiful. However, these ones definitely come with some big ups and downs, and I'm going to discuss them with you here in just a second. Now, starting off, these are tier 8. If you're just starting out, or even if you're midway through your Robocraft career, I'm sorry guys, you're waiting on this one. For those of you who are late in the game, tier 8 and up, oh, you guys are about to have a fun time, but you yeah, should know the ups and downs of these first off. Now, starting off, you can use these weapons for the first time ever with other weapons. That's right, a weapon for your weapons. They heard what you were asking for and they gave it to you. So, you can equip these with other stuff such as SMGs, rail cannons, plasma launchers, you name it, it'll work. You can also attach them to treads as you can see, and obviously normal blocks as well, so long as you got the space. Now that's going to be one of the kickers. Even at tier 8, which is the starting grounds for these things, they are 5 blocks wide. Now what's that mean for a lot of you? It means you're going to need some space. Now, can you stack them directly on top of one another? Actually, no. They need at least a one block gap at tier 8. At higher levels, I assume that it's about the same. I haven't gotten a chance to get my tier 10 ones yet, but for the time being, yeah. Also, higher in tier you go, you're going to be able to get more blades. Now, that's going to be important because, well, we got to go over something very important here in a bit. Meantime, in between time, let's go ahead and go to our tech tree. Now you can find these at the end of your SMG tier. They do not connect to the Nano Disruptor, so you have to do SMGs to get these blades. Once again, I need to kind of go back to tier 9 and all that and amp up myself. But as you can see, you get more and more blades. And this is very, very important for you guys. You're going to want to know why here in just a second. But starting off, yeah. Now they've got decent armor, not the greatest. And the damage output is double that of the same tier of rail cannon. Okay, so these big belugas right here that do so much damage and people fear so much, twice as much damage outright upon hit. Now, told you guys I was going to talk to you guys about downside. Let's get right in on that. Okay, so going into practice, we're going to try not to use our SMGs and we're only going to use our plasmas. So, one blade apiece at tier 8. And let's just go find a target. Ah, there's a perfect target right there. With my dreads, I should be a bit slower, but I can roll up on them. And... Oh, look at that. Now, if you notice, it said I took damage. Truth is, I didn't actually take damage to my machine. If you look at the front there, one of my blades is missing. There's the bad news right there in a nutshell. These things, for their massive damage output, are a one-shot deal. Which means that no matter how you look at it, these bad boys, while they're strong and capable, are not something I would recommend as your only weapon. Now, could you somehow pull off the ability to go around and, you know, use a lot of these and clean house? Yeah! By all means, yeah! The issue is, is they're decently expensive and they take up a lot of room, so I don't recommend that. Now, can I recommend any kind of weaponry with this? Oh yeah. Use SMGs with them as well as nano disruptors. Along with that, on the bright side, nano disruptors will refresh your blade. So if you've got a good teammate, oh, come back here. Ah, 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 there we go. Oh. Oh, I missed. Come back here. I gotta guillotine you. I'm very bad at this particular kind of assault. There we go. So, if you got a good friend or a great ally, they can come by and they can actually heal you up and actually bring back your blades. However, as you can see, that one time shot, I almost can't recommend them based on that, but let's put a scenario into place. That guy's an enemy, right? And he's about to trounce you and you're pretty much, you know, not doing enough damage. This could be the thing to save your bacon. So you go by, you do a quick attack, and you manage to just destroy a good portion of his machine. 
you're talking about obliterating a big, big chunk, especially at high tiers. Especially when you're talking like tier 10. Oh man, the devastation to a tier 8 or tier 9 would be amazing. You probably can't recover from that outright. Issue is, you gotta get in close and that's your worst case scenario. So, SMGs, Nano Disruptors, great working with these. Otherwise, you're looking for a offensive defense, more or less. Unlike plasma launchers or rail cannons, I almost want to say that these would be almost counterproductive. Getting in debt, well, no, I take that back. Plasma close up is pretty dang dangerous. Mixed with this, you could probably just take down heavy, heavy tanks and single couple shots. So I'd say one to five shots between your plasma and your uh, blade. There you go. Anyways, vehicle wise, um, hover, wheels, tank treads. Honestly, I want to see someone make a guillotine. Someone make a flying machine and go out there and actually show me what you can do with these blades. Oh, it would be amazing to see what you guys got. That's me actually asking you guys to show me what you can build. Send me a video, send me pictures, put it down in the comments. Okay, aside from that, before I end this tutorial, right, because we, we went over the ups and downs, we went over the basics, we went how to get them, someone made a request at one point, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that request. So someone at one point asked me, hey, you should make a jet tutorial. Well been a work in progress and it costs a lot and I've been trying to keep up with all the other stuff but uh how about a sneak peek huh <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed if you really enjoyed this tutorial hit that like button if you dislike this tutorial well hit that dislike this button and let us know why down in the comments below if you don't like the tutorials I'm more than happy to try and fix things up to better suit you guys but you gotta let us know. We can't figure it out on our own if we don't know what we did wrong. I mean, in the meantime, in between time, you guys stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and just remember, Liger Zero. Yeah, go look that one up. <laughs> Later, everybody. Oh, man. I can't wait to pump you up, baby. Mmm. -hmm.